the wheels we use in turn around and to be cool and their meaning you on quarantine, he know this thing A1 like a felony All he gotta do is say the word like a spelling bee Okay So the first word The first letter is A Because we're in alphabet all over, right? So the first word is A So A-H So we would use A as a substitute for A So like A now eats Instead of I now eats and now eat. So the second word in A is I, I, I. So that would be an exclamation meaning anger or joy depending on the tone and inflection that you use. Tone and inflection means how your voice sounds at the end. So you would say I, I, I. And that would mean like maybe somebody is stressing you out and you'd be like I, I, I. Which means joy, well, like it's probably figure P that he was beating on his last week. So the last one in E is Olya. So we use Olya as a substitute to mean like all of you people or a group. So like Olya is from us, so like a group of swimmers. And the first word is Bacchanal. So Bacchanal means scandal or heavy. Or a big party or something, and it can mean a lot of things. So, if a husband and wife fighting right through the quarreling, this is the thing I'm hearing about. Yeah, if a husband and wife quarreling and fighting, they would say, Hey, look at Baka now, that's a big confusion. But, like, it could be also like a party, like a party, it could be a Baka now, a joyous thing, just a fun environment. You know what I mean? Trying the airports that I was telling you about. You see, I was on one. It's really cute. <laughs> right. So I was talking about. Um, right. So back and on. So the next one is back chat. So this is um usually like a in West Indian because I mean, you know, turn out to be it was in West Indies. So usually West Indian parents, which are parents that come from the Caribbean, if their child responds to them rudely, they would say the child give them back chat. So when you tell you something and you tell them about something and you give them back chat to them, you know, give them back chat, which is a big thing in West Indian culture and in our culture. I hope you all are hearing me on this because we get time to refill. This one next one is behind. But we would say behind and drop the last final consonant, right? Well, I'm saying the final because I don't think the six as my degree. But yeah, we would just drop the B and say behind instead of behind. So, oh, the, we would say behind or back. Not behind, but behind or back, which means already far place. So, like, where I live in Trinidad, I live in Grandi. A lot of people classify it as behind or back, which means it's just real far or real. Is what I think it's really fire, just really fire. So the next word is the next letter is C, and the next word is chippity. So it's like a stupid person, but we would say chippity. I don't usually say that as on a daily basis, I would say stupid. But you know, in other people in turn, I would say chippity, and it's just somebody that's foolish. Like you could behave in foolish or act in foolish, like. My name is a chippity, is a chippity or something. Is a chippity or what? Next one is Kia. So we can say the Y here just because of a reflection of ours. And I think, um, like in slavery days, Y is a very prominent consonant in the African language. So we've got it from slavery days, I believe. So we say Kia for cat. Well, I don't say it like that, but some people do. So you say, yeah. Um, Instead of saying I can't go today, I can't go today, and then I might say as we go back to the place of the A, instead of I, I would say ah, so I can't go today, I can't, well I would say car, which is C-A-H, but some people say Kia, which is C-Y-H, so I can't go today. The next one that is D, and the first word is that, so instead of saying that, we say that, so Trinidad, specifically speaking, 
we rarely say teach words unless it's a professional setting like we're giving a group presentation and we're talking about something important if you're trying to sound um i guess properly and respectful you would say this that three but usually we drop the teach three this so for certain words we would say duh It's just like in the states where you have children that have one parent white, one parent black. Like down here we have, well, we have many others down here. One parent is African and one parent is of East Indian descent. And that is combined, the child is a doula, which means they will be probably brown skin, like brown We use that a lot. So the next letter is E. And we would say one the first word is E, eh, meaning like what did you say? So if somebody say, um, you went to the grocery today, eh? That's probably like if you're doing it and I'm all like, if you're used to like in an office we used to be like, eh? Like you talking to me, eh? Uh -huh. So eh uh -huh can mean for really. So like if somebody tells us something you're like, eh? Uh -huh. I think this this has um two not attached as well, in it as well because you would say uh -huh. last word in here is end and I use this word a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot I say end for everything so it can mean is that so in the sense that
and there's a lot of drinking um, for all inclusives you have food and drink and it usually goes to very late in the morning love it so the second in essence for truth or truth I don't say truth but I will say for truth but we spell the truth like T-R-O-T and for truth instead of for truth for F-O-R T-R well it's separated F-O-R F-O-R is a real thing <laughs> you can say F-U-H for true so you can spell it T-R-E or T-R-E and that just means the same thing as answer now is if somebody say I see it on the way yesterday for true like you really see me so okay so the last letter is a G and H so G first a uh, phrase that we say is God will sleep which means God will not allow injustice to go unpunished so like for the crime situation or like country you know if somebody something happened to somebody or like if somebody steals from somebody so my iCloud got full from a lot of video clips that I have on my phone and the um, camera stopped recording so therefore I have to do a voiceover of the remaining of my video which is just an explanation of the Gordo sleep phrase and one more word that we use so as I was saying like if someone you know gets robbed or something and like you know so it has criminal justice where it will be with police and judges and sentencing and whatever people get caught so I just call it spiritual justice that is this is not a term that is you know used but it just came into my head as spiritual justice because sometimes it is so yeah so the term basically is like if you know somebody that get robbed and they like come talking to you ever about you know they hope the person get caught and da, 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 you would just be like girl god don't sleep girl meaning that he don't sleep and he will fight for you once you pray for him once you pray to him and ask him to help you with anything he will help you with it period but back to this <laughs> yeah god will sleep so it just means that god will find the justice that you deserve and the next letter and the last letter is h and the word that we use with h well one of the words is harden so harden means somebody that's disobedient or somebody that don't hear well not not here but they don't listen to what like parents say you know anybody it could be a friend could be hardened a significant other could be hardened so how we would use this word is okay so let's say for instance a parent child confrontation so if a parent is child not a child like not to go out somewhere or don't do something and the child still does it the parents will be like oh gosh you're hard nah? like you don't listen 